morning everyone, my name is Crystal, I hope everyone had a great weekend. Um, if you like my videos please press the like button, please do subscribe. I'm here in my flat. Um, it, Alexa, good morning. Good morning and happy birthday to Harry Potter. The character's birth date is the 31st of July 1980. If you fancy putting your Wizarding World knowledge to the test, Ask me to play the Harry Potter quiz. Alexa, what's the time, please? It's 8.21 a.m. Alexa, what's the date today? It's Monday the 31st of July. Alexa, what's the weather like? Currently, in Rochester it's 18 degrees Celsius with cloudy skies. You can expect more of the same today, with a high of 21 degrees and a low of 13 degrees. And Alexa, Alexa, can you tell me a joke? What did the panther say at the poker party? I'd be lying if I said I was a cheater. Right guys, so the weather looks like it's been raining overnight here in Rochester, UK. So the ground is wet, the sun is not out, and it, it still feels fairly warm. So I've just been feeling offish. I've just woken up feeling bleh, like you do sometimes. Um, I was I, I heard someone leave the building at six or six o'clock this morning that's probably because they've got to go to work um you can hear every noise in this building right from the top floor so when someone leaves you can hear it I, I wasn't really asleep anyway to be honest with you it's been muggy and it's been hot and i wasn't really asleep anyway i got up properly at eight o'clock but because i just and I wasn't asleep, I just didn't want to get up, you know what I mean? <coughs> <coughs> Last night, I went out about quarter to seven, and the weather was like the same as it is now, um, spitting with rain. Um, so I went onto the field, uh, there was one person on there that was... There was people about, but it was very, like, wet and, and, and that. It's, it had been raining on and off since the afternoon, so it was wet. Um, so I just walked Max like I do three times a day, enjoy the walk, uh, running together around the field, enjoying it, walking. I came back home came back into my flat and I just do what I normally do now which is go straight to YouTube see if there's any films that I can watch and I was just going through Jason Statham films last night um, The Policeman I ended up Jason Sta watching Jason Statham in The Policeman um, so that's what I did last night and then I went to bed um, I've got up this morning, my phone pinged at 8 o'clock and nothing really interesting going on to be honest. So we just see how the day unfolds. I've had messages from my mother, so let's catch up with those. <coughs> Good night and God bless and hope to see you on Tuesday. 
disappointed and upset because when I went to Gillingham the last time it was like you had the market there the Gillingham market and it looked like it was thriving and the post office was open and Barclays Bank was there um, and now it's completely dead and it's it's not what 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 it was I also went to Mid Kent College, which is in Gillingham, where I did a course with a lady called Jennifer Bentley. And the job centre sent me on a course. Um, um, they'd, um, I'm disabled and they wanted to force me to go to work. But they didn't do my CV very well so they said that I was only good for being a cleaner a cleaner and I've worked for the civil service um, I've got qualifications from being in the civil service and all they put on my resume if you like CV the job centre this was was that I was a cleaner and it was my mother Jennifer that worked in the Hen and Chickens pub in Upper Luton, Chatham. She worked in Boots Opticians in Chatham. Whilst I was in Gloucestershire uh, bringing up my children, she was working in Boots as a cleaner. And they wanted my mum to be an optical assistant, but she didn't want, want that. She just she, My mum liked to be a cleaner. I was in the civil service as a bank bankruptcy clerk dealing with um, at the reception when people come in, passing them on to the relevant people um, to deal with their bankruptcy case and their company insolvencies. When companies go bust, I was there at the reception desk on the telephone making up files for new cases. So the job centre fucked my CV up I couldn't get a job as a cleaner because I didn't have any qualifications to be a cleaner. And they forced me to go on this course, 2015-16, um, at the Mid-Kent Mid College, um, to get um, some sort of qualification that I, you know, I had qualifications. Um, so I was forced on this two-week course and I was ill. I was extremely ill. They all had to open all the windows. It was winter and I couldn't breathe. I wasn't well. So they all had to open the windows when it was cold. Terrible cold. It was really, really... Uh, but the job centre, if you did not do this course, it would take money off you. Unless you had a valid reason. And I was too unwell. To, to just wait outside the job centre, keep ringing the job centre up. So I did, I finished the two week course, but I was really sick. Um, so that's in Gillingham, at Mid Kent College. Um, but I, I have never worked as a cleaner. That was my mother, Jennifer. So, so you see what they've been doing for a very long time, mixing me up with my mother on purpose. And my mother at that time would have been in her 60s and she would have been retired from work because she was on a pension. So she, they couldn't have forced my mother out to work anyway. My mother is nearly 80. So when someone keeps reporting me, Genestra, to the job centre and telling them that I make money from YouTube videos, I actually do not. I, I've never made money from YouTube videos. And that's been going on since I very first started YouTube in 2009. We're now in 2023 and these bullies and vicious individuals are still doing it. 
So someone's got a really big grudge uh, and it's not well at all, are they? Um, right, Alexa, LBC Radio. LBC London from Global Player. Not yourself? Right, what? Oh, fun, Dad. They're free. Free fries, huh? Sign up for rewards on the McDonald's app. McDonald's have rewards? <sighs> yes, and an app is a thing you get on your phone when you okay, download Okay, thank you. I'm having another one for that. My McDonald's rewards. Sign up on the McDonald's app and get free fries and a thousand points when you place your first order. 18 plus. Only via app at participating restaurants. Register by the 16th of August and order within 14 days. Minimum spend required. Turn to apply. At Kia, we're excited to announce the Kia Electrified event, giving you your first two services free on our electrified range, including our award-winning electric vehicles. Sorry, we'll come back to that because Nick Ferrari's on, and I like Nick Ferrari um, on LBC Radio. I'm just making my Weetabix. My one Weetabix. <coughs> the builders are building at the top of the road, the builders are building the over 55 flats at the top of the road, up there. Where I go and walk Max, my dog. The builders are all working on top of the roof of the new flats that they're building that should be ready in 2025. I'm just, I like to squash my wheat a bit into the middle. Oh, Alexa, Alexa. Alexa, LBC Sorry, Ra something went wrong. Alexa, LBC Radio. LBC London from Global Player. The crime for the Conservatives, under 6% of crimes being solved by police last year. George is in St Albans. George, what is the crime that was committed and when? Good morning. So it was 2018, morning Nick, good morning everyone. So 2018 and uh, I was still commuting, this was kind of pre-COVID, commuting into London, uh, left my mum's bike at the station, um, came back and wasn't there. Value of your bike, roughly? 500 quid, oh, 500 pounds, yeah. yeah. So but it was a, a decent mountain bike, which also kind of begs the question of what I used. But anyway, that was that was my, right. my bad. It, so we move on. So um, reported on the website of the British... Transport police in Hertfordshire police picked it up. Long story short, they interviewed me and the guy was caught. Uh, the, the, the bicycle wasn't recovered, but um, he was um, prosecuted for 12 months in prison. Um, he appealed it, and then the, the constable dealing with the case was the same guy consistently communicating with me, uh, gave me the opportunity to put a, um, an impact statement, a victim's impact statement in place, which I did. Right. And, you know, it was, you know, impacting my commuting, I dependent on the, on the bike for that, <clears throat> which was all true. And it was upheld and he got 12 months. Wow. I mean, again, this is hard for your police then. You, you, yes. you would say did everything they possibly could to assist you. They did. Wow. That's and, 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 they, and, and they were so, so, so professional. So, and I guess, so uh, just while, while I've got a bit of air time, it will be really great to know from, from, from the police force, what do they want from us? How can we help them? Okay. Um, what okay. do they do you know, from a legal point of view? Um, oh, and just one more thing, but yes. subsequently, um, St. Albans did have the unenviable reputation back then, I don't know what it is now, of the number one station bike theft stats oh, in the country. No. Really? Oh, God. Oh, God. But subsequent to that, the, the cops got in there, they, they, um, they were there for several weeks, gave us all the opportunity to tag our bikes, mm -hmm. and um, so that they had a database of the bicycle, yeah. blah, blah, blah. So, um, question, the bicycle you use now to go to St. Albans, I bet it's not worth 500 quid, is it? Well, I mean, the whole dynamic has, has changed, uh, so I don't know with all the work from home, with oh. a, different, a different place, so I use the station a lot less now and um, I typically just take a take a walk because it's okay it's simpler to do 
George, I'm so pleased that did so well. Thank you for that story. Uh, Mike in Crawley, uh, linking a number of stories here. He says, progress as I see it. Implement vehicle reduction zones for health and safety right until it affects votes. Build a railway line to facilitate a northern powerhouse, but stop before it gets to the north. Cut police numbers to save taxpayer money so we can spend the savings compensating businesses for uncontrolled thieving. Resolve strikes by making an offer and then refusing to speak to anyone. Spend millions to send illegal migrants to Rwanda, but then fail to send a single individual. In all of the above, we can be confident the government is leading the way while firmly behind us. If it wasn't so sad, it would be comical. Thanks for that one. Uh, Melissa's in the Midlands. Melissa, what happened to you? No, it's not you. It's, is it your husband? Good morning. Morning, Nick. Yes, it was my husband. Um, it was back in April of this year. Mm -hmm. He was travelling on the M4 between um, Wells and Bristol. Yep. And um, when he joined um, on the M4 at the particular junction, it's just before you go through the Brinklass Tunnel. Right. Um, it's down to 50 mile an hour of all the time mandatory oh, right. and there's only two lanes that go through so there's a car that came up really close behind him and he thought oh they're in a bit of a hurry they obviously don't want to do 15 so he pulled over when he could but when he was obviously supposed to do so it was really busy at that time in the morning it was about, it was about half on five in the morning mm. um, and let the other car go through and just thought oh you know they're obviously yeah not looking to stick to the speed limit so yeah. getting up anything of it until they then pulled straight in front of him and broke past him. Which so then they, they um, broke, sorry, they pulled in front of him and what did, what did him, sorry? They, they um, slammed their brakes on. Right, okay, um, right. So obviously then oh, it became yeah. a bit of a road rage incident. Right. Um, of which he threw his hands in the air as if to say, what on earth are you doing? Yeah. Um, and let them sort of go on there and just thought, you know, I'm not worth the hassle. No, um, no, 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 Yeah, a little bit further on. Um, up the motorway, and all of a sudden they pulled round on the on the wrong side of him, on the passenger side of him. Right. Um, and he thought, oh, they're obviously going to just undertake me. He was about to pull over it the other lane. <laughs> and with that, they slowed right down, and he got a good look at the driver, the passenger in the back of the vehicle, wind their window down, and um, and pulled the gun out and shot at him. Um, so they smashed all the windows on one side of the car. Right. Um, he just put his foot down and absolutely, he said he just sawed it get away from them. Yeah. So 999 immediately, um, expecting them to be, right, we're sending out armed units, we're coming to help you. And he was petrified because in the meanwhile, they're behind on the way, and they're now approaching traffic towards Bristol as it's queuing. Um, and they got stabbed, they shot it in once, and he's thinking they're not, they're, they're not going to hesitate to shoot a vehicle. Right. Um, and the response from the police was, we just... Unbelievable. The line okay. ticked. Sorry, let's try again. The response... You couldn't script this. The response to the police was what, Melissa? <laughs> yeah, sorry, I'm sorry, can you hear me? Yeah, try again. The police said... Just turn around and go home. We recommend... What, and you said there's a guy, not you said, I'm sorry. Your husband said there's a guy with a gun who shot at me in my car. And they said, why don't you go home? Yeah, he, they said, we'll send some officers to meet you at your house. And he was like, what good's that? They're behind me. They're, they're potentially chasing me. Yeah. He, he was petrified, absolutely petrified. And they had no windows at the side of the vehicle. How did it resolve itself? So um, he headed home and um, he... The, the, the officer and um, some uniformed doctors turned up at the house very quickly to be honest um, and they then said you know took a statement from him um, and a short while later towards the afternoon by this point we had police arrived at the house yeah. uh, sorry um, the technic and I said to them at the time your time for, you know I'm not I'm not in the in the services or anything at all and I said yeah. but surely your time to to get these people was on the motorway. They they kept the anywhere. Yeah, of course. They kept they could, the anywhere, yeah, yeah. they would have got rid of the gun, they would have kept the tension. They could have got rid of the car as well for that matter. Yeah. Um so that they, they made they made they did make an arrest a couple of weeks later, but they told my husband he had to remain in the house for two days at least until they had somebody you know apprehended in custody. Right. Um, because of the fear that they could be their intelligence because my husband got the number plate of a 